And as you can see on the previous episode, we assembled the bottom end. But now we're going to be degreeing the CTR cams and doing some checkups. And of course, the other thing that you guys like, we're going to port match the intake manifold to the head. So it's going to fit perfectly good. And we know this is something you guys will definitely love. <laughs> All right, now, last episode, we assembled the block, the crank, and the pistons and got the ring gaps really good, right? And so before we degree this, before we install the head, we have to degree it first and show you guys. But they, let's go to the workbench first. We got a port match, the intake manifold, because the intake manifold was ported by us last year after he did the base run. So, you know, it was never really port matched that good because we just bolted on. And of course the owner requested if he could get the head back and the manifold because he wanted to paint it. And so, hey, there was time. So we allowed it. We sent it to him and he painted it this way. Gold, it's pretty cool. Pretty clean actually. So here we're showing you, we're doing the outline of the flange this way. We can port match it better. And we have a video about port matching and it'll be in the description below. Don't worry about it, guys. Okay, now you can see the outline for the flange is actually visible now. Let's turn it here to show you guys. Here, you can see there. Now it's a lot better, right? Now we can bolt the gasket that we made onto the intake manifold, but yep, we gotta be careful not to tear it up because, you know, if we tear it up, we have to cut a new one. Another one again, that's wasting time. All right, now let's bolt it onto the manifold. Let's go. And here it is now. You can see the outline. We aligned it quite perfectly or as close as we can to be identical to the lines of the flange. Here's the bottom side. Sorry, the phone is like zooming in and out. Sorry about that. But you can see, right? And here, now we scraped, we scraped it onto the flange. And you can see it's actually close enough, but we like to get it really close and just be half a step or half millimeter step before the ports. Okay, now here on the porting bench, we go to be the carbide first to speed up the work because it's going to take too long. And of course, we're going to time lapse. And the half inch or half millimeter step that we learned, I learned it from Larry Widmer from Endyne. He always does this to actually help prevent reversion. And you can see it's getting closer or close enough, right? But now we're going to go with 80 grit to get it really, really fine. All right, so now let's go with that. Okay, now this time it's 80 grit. We're gonna smooth it out. Of course, we're gonna go deeper, like around six inches, but because this is already ported, if you go deeper than six inches, it's gonna connect all the way to the other side. So it's gonna be good and smooth. Yep, we time lapse to get it faster. But we'll show you now just the entry or the last half inch of the exit, just to, just to be quick. Okay, now here, as you look closer, you can see we're really close to that line that we made. So it's actually, for me, perfectly port match because there's a slight anti-reversion step. That's what Larry Widmer calls it. And that's pretty cool, right? Okay, you can go. Now you can see we're going to go further more. This way, the flow path is really, really smooth and good. This is all the small things that we do to get every single horsepower that you can possibly gain and get from the engine. But you know what? You gotta like this so it gets spread out to a wider audience. So it helps the algorithm spread to all the individuals that like it. So of course here, 
and hit the subscribe button and of course the bell notification because you're gonna get some good stuff and later on you will know why it's really worth subscribing we got more stuff coming along so yep and now after a few more passes you can see we've gotten deeper around you know three or four inches but we're still gonna keep going but we're gonna show you this after we clean it up so now we go to the block and as many of you guys saw this initially on the page on the shop page here we are let's set it up to number one into top dead center all right just feel like that okay now we install we're gonna put a used head gasket this way it's already compressed so that the, when you cam degree or when you degree the cams we're gonna see as accurate as possible as if it's running so yep okay now we put the dowels there all right and then the used head gasket all right oh bummer wait 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 this one is crimped don't go in of course because it was previously pried off with pliers and we hate doing that so whoever rebuilt it before probably was in a ru rush. All right, wait, wait, wait. All right, now off camera, we need it properly. Now we're gonna drop in the cylinder head. Get the dowels aligned. Wait, slowly, slowly. Okay, wait, now I have to get the head bolts just to help ease the head onto the block. Wait, still not aligned so well yep okay now it needs a little help for from the head studs or the head bolts right let's grab it here now it's all there and let me show you the checking springs that we use when we degree it here you can see in the wait can't see in the exhaust oh crap no sorry about the shadow let's go back to the other angle here you can see the checking springs on the exhaust and the intake no valve float when you degree it right just kidding all right here we drop in the exhaust cams getting ready one by one and sorry we didn't get to do a video because you know we're all over the engine so we keep blocking your way or blocking your vision so we don't want you guys annoyed right okay here now the cam degreeing kit is already installed and it's all ready all right and you can see everything is preset and we're starting this all from zero cam gear setting it's on zero so this way we know how the oem b16b ct civic type r cams are and we'll be degreeing that because hey we realized no one really degrees a ctr cam and i know it's not needed but hey it's valuable information, right? So, yep. All right, so here we are now. We're gonna degree it. We're gonna start with the intake first, all right? Okay, now let's clip the phone to the stand. Hold up, all right, there. We're gonna turn it. We're gonna go with the intake first at 0 050. Okay, we're gonna stop it at 0 050 on the opening and get degrees. Right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, well, there it's moving now, all right? Okay, stop there, all right. Now let's go move closer. Let me show you guys. Here you go. Look, is at zero fifty, all right? And then it's ten. Oh, fifteen. So it's fifteen before top dead center, all right. Now let's go to the closing. So we go full lift, and then. You know, on the way back, we stop at 0 0.050 and then get the degrees on that. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep turning on the intake. Well, on the crank, of course, but then, you know, we're looking at the intake right now. All right, come on, come on. There you go. Got the lift there. All right. Then we go to the closing. Okay. Wait, wait. We've got to switch handles because this handle is a little too short, so... You know, we gotta switch it this way. It's easier for you to turn it and you can stop accurately with a longer handle. Okay, here, you got it. Here on the 0 0.050. And it's 10, 20, 30, 40. 
Okay. For th 43, after bottom dead center. And let's go to the workbench and write that off. I mean, you know, write it on the paper. Okay, it's on the intake, it's um, 15 before top dead center. All right. There. Okay. And then, what was that? Wait, wait, let me try to remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. The closing is 43 after bottom dead center yep all right now let's go to the exhaust let's check it out let's go let's go now let's go with the exhaust one this one all right let's turn it and we stop at 0 0.050 on the opening come on come on we change the handle of the ratchet this way you can move it easier with more leverage okay there oh no there 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 okay we stop at 50 let me show you up close there you go it's at 50 and it's 10 20 30 40. okay 42 before bottom dead center okay now let's write it on the desk before we forget okay let's grab the pen okay it's 42 before bottom dead center all right okay now let's go back to the engine stand for the rest okay now now it's gonna go all the way to maximum lift and then on the way back we stop at 0 0.050 before closing okay there's max lift all right we go back down and stop at 0 0.050 there you go, it's near, it's near, just a little bit. There, all right, okay, there. Okay, now let me show you close. There you go, it's at 0 0.050, and it's, oh, it's 11. So it's 11 after top dead center. Let's go back to the desk. Okay, now, oh, it's easier this way, we don't really forget. So it's 11 degrees after top dead center yep okay now that's the numbers we get in degreeing the civic type r b16b cams yeah all right you wave all right so you know this series is more about showcasing how we rebuild or how we rework on certain engines and things but of course on the technical sharing you gotta watch this video before we release a specific technical video about degreeing and showing the specs of the B16B, B16A cams, and actually a GSR cam. This way, we can differentiate the B16A, GSR, B18C, and CTR cams because I don't think anyone has really showed the actual specs of the CTR and the GSR cam so we can differentiate that and you guys will have it for notes so link will be in the description below for the video about degreeing because you gotta keep watching that this way when we get to release the video about cam degreeing CTR cams or about CTR cams you would know really well and of course once we get done with that video we're gonna show you how to get and what is the proper lobe centers of the CTR cams and the GSR cams and of course obviously the B16A cams so this way that will be valuable information for whenever you guys are building something OEM or type R style engine now onto this engine specifically we're going to be disassembling this head and fi doing final assembly and so you know maybe the next episode is going to be install and startup you're going to click here for that